Today I'm going to be doing a little uh, experiment stabilizing some Wisconsin Moonstone. So these are the pieces that I selected. I got the cactus juice all ready. Going to get that activated here shortly. I got the vacuum pump all set and ready to go. We got the line running all the way over to the vacuum chamber. And let's, uh, let's get going here, see what happens. Just shaking up the activator here. I just poured the smaller uh, activator into the large container here. So I'm going to give this a good shake and then uh, juice should be all ready to go. All right, I'm going to start loading my uh, cleaned up pieces of moonstone into the vacuum chamber. There we go. All right. Now we'll pour in the cactus juice. All right, it's fully submerged. Now the fun part begins. We're going to slowly start to uh, create a vacuum in here. All right, now we're cooking. Now we're pulling some air out of there. And now that I got a good vacuum seal, I'm going to let this sit uh, probably for a good six to eight hours or uh, until the bubbling stops. The bubbles have stopped, so now I'm going to give it a little tip. Try to get any trap bubbles out of there. And now I'm going to slowly release the uh, vacuum pressure. All right, now I'm going to let them soak for twice as long as they were in the vacuum chamber. It's been soaking for double the amount of time that it spent in the vacuum chamber. So we're going to dump out all the remaining resin. There we go. So I just had the toaster oven preheated just so it's a little bit warmer when I start it. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it right around 200 degrees for uh, probably about an hour to two hours. Uh, depending on when the resin starts to cure. So I currently have the oven set to about 275 and as you can see don't trust the dial just hitting 200. All right they are all done so I'm just pulling them out of the toaster oven gonna let them cool down and then we should have some uh, fully stabilized moonstone. So I had to test it out I grabbed one of the most fractured pieces that I put in there Check it out. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I battle tested this too. I beat on it and it never fractured. What an absolute game changer.